if you've spent any time watching Twitch, you've probably seen tiny images pop up in the chat for when something hilarious or awesome or spectacular happens on screen. These are called Twitch emotes and they play an extremely important role in streaming culture. Each one has a specific meaning and as an affiliate and a partner, you get to create your own. Creating your own custom emotes is a fantastic perk to give to your subscribers and supporters. It's a great benefit that incentivizes your viewers to support you and gives you a unique way to make others feel like they're a part of a larger community. With that all said, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Twitch emotes, how to unlock them, how to create them, how to load them, all that fun stuff. So here we go. What is up all my awesome streaming peeps? Wild for Games here to help you become bigger and better with everything Streamlabs. When it comes to Twitch emotes, you first have to unlock them. Twitch emotes are available for partners or affiliate streamers. To become a Twitch affiliate, you first must reach the following achievements in 30 calendar days. Reach 50 followers, stream for eight hours, stream on seven different days, and have an average of three viewers. Now, if you haven't unlocked Twitch Affiliate yet, it's okay. I'm gonna give you some quick tips to help you get there. Check your analytics. This way you'll know how close you are to unlocking Twitch Affiliate, but it's also gonna let you know what you need to work on to unlock it. Don't be afraid to collaborate and build relationships. This is one of the key ways to find friends and start building your community. Hey, the next tip is build a community. It's not about how much you can stream, it's about how much you can build within your channel by building a strong community. When the time is right, don't be afraid to attend events and conferences, which is gonna help you build relationships, but also give you opportunities for collaborations in the future. And our last quick tip is, don't be afraid to be active on social media. You need a way to promote yourself and social media is one of the best places for it. If you want a deeper dive on any of these tips I just gave off real quick, you can go down in the video description below and there's a link to our blog that goes a little bit more on each one of these that will help you out. When you've reached Twitch affiliate or partner, you've unlocked Twitch emotes, which gives you the ability to add or delete them, assign them to specific sub tiers, and customize them to reinforce your brand. Now, I'm sure the question you're probably asking is, where can I go to get Twitch emotes made or get custom ones made for my brand? And sadly, I don't have a lot of time to dive into that because that's its own video. But to give you some strong recommendations, some free and some paid, is you can start with websites like Streamlabs Logo Maker, Pixlar, Fiverr, or you can even go to the Twitch creative and art section and commission a Twitch artist, which I always love helping out the creative community. If you need any links to any of these locations, I'll make sure to put them down below. By the way, I'm a Fiverr affiliate, so by clicking through that, you help support me. So thank you very much. Once you have your Twitch emotes, we can load them into Twitch's system so people in your community can start using them right away. To add Twitch emotes, go to your dashboard on Twitch and click on viewer rewards. Upload the new emote by clicking on the plus button under the tier you'd like to add it to. Twitch provides a handy auto resize option to ensure the emotes are always the correct dimension. Please note, make sure you upload a single square image between 112 by 112 pixels and 4096 by 4096 pixels and Twitch Auto Resizer will do the rest for you. Whenever you upload any of your custom emotes to Twitch, you need to make sure they follow the terms of service and community guidelines. Now it's a little in depth, so I'm gonna put links down below in the video description so you can dive into it. But some simple things to look out for are hate conduct, harassment, obscene content, sexual content, legal drugs, anything like that. But even under guidelines, you wanna make sure they still follow that for emotes like vulgarity, politics, animations, individual letters or characters, all these things you need to double check on before you load them into Twitch. A bonus tip from me to you is the minute all your Twitch emotes are approved, don't be afraid to hype it up within your channel and in your streams to let your supporters know that they have something new to play around with and it will incentivize new people to maybe support and subscribe to your channel so that way they can have fun spamming your emotes or hyping up your channel with all the cool creations and graphics that you're gonna supply them. Having your own stream remotes, it's so cool. It's, it's a little piece of you that your community gets to be proud to share with the digital world. It's, it's super fun, which is why I recommend having fun with it and play around. 
And if you want to unlock more sub emote slots, you can on Twitch, but that basically means you're gonna have to make your stream better, which is where I come in to help you out. I'm gonna put a couple of videos here up on screen that are gonna take your stream to the next level so you can get a few more subs. Wild for Games here, making you bigger and better with Streamlabs. And as always, take care, and of course, peace.